20 celebs who got fired from the industry. Welcome to the Famous People Channel. Today, we're venturing into the captivating realm of Hollywood, a place known for its surprising turns and dramatic events. Buckle up for an exhilarating journey as we delve into the tales of 20 celebrities who were ousted from the industry. From jaw-dropping scandals to controversies that reshaped their careers, this video will reveal the tumultuous peaks and valleys of fame. So, let's dive in and get the inside scoop on these stars. Roseanne Barr Roseanne Barr, born on November 3, 1952 in Salt Lake City, Utah, emerged as a significant figure in American entertainment during the late 1980s. Her rise to fame was primarily due to her role in the groundbreaking sitcom Roseanne, which debuted in 1988. The show, celebrated for its sharp wit and candid humor, portrayed the complexities of a working-class family with an authenticity that resonated with millions of viewers. As the show's star and a key creative force, Barr received numerous accolades, and her unique brand of humor earned her a dedicated fan base, solidifying her status as a cultural phenomenon. Despite her successful career, Barr's public persona took a dramatic turn in 2018. The revival of Roseanne on ABC was initially met with enthusiasm, bringing back the original cast and attracting new viewers. However, this comeback was abruptly halted when Barr posted a racially insensitive tweet. In this tweet, she made a derogatory comparison of Valerie Jarrett, an African-American former senior advisor to President Obama, to an ape. The tweet sparked a massive public and media backlash due to its racist implications. The reaction from the network was swift and decisive. Within hours of the tweet, ABC canceled the revival of Roseanne, citing that Barr's remarks were abhorrent, repugnant, and inconsistent with the network's values. This decision not only ended Barr's involvement in the show, but also affected the livelihood of the entire cast and crew who were uninvolved in her actions. Following the incident, Barr faced immediate professional consequences. She was dropped by her talent agency and became largely ostracized by the entertainment industry. Publicly, she attempted to apologize and explained that her judgment was impaired by the use of Ambien, a sleep medication, at the time she wrote the tweet. However, this explanation was met with skepticism, and the manufacturer of Ambien responded by stating that racism is not a known side effect of their product. Today, at 71, Roseanne Barr's career has not recovered from this incident. Her fall from grace serves as a potent cautionary tale about the permanent impact that a moment of indiscretion on social media can have on a lifetime of work. It highlights the increased scrutiny public figures face in the digital age and the swift consequences that can follow from statements that are insensitive or derogatory. This episode in Barr's life underscores the broader societal need for a deeper understanding and respect for racial sensitivities. Kevin Spacey Kevin Spacey, born on July 26, 1959 in South Orange, New Jersey, is an American actor renowned for his commanding performances in the film industry. His career ascended to prominence in the 1990s with standout roles in critically acclaimed films such as The Usual Suspects and American Beauty, both of which garnered him Academy Awards and solidified his status as a top-tier Hollywood talent. However, Spacey's illustrious career took a dramatic and severe downturn in 2017 when he became embroiled in a major scandal. Multiple individuals came forward with accusations of sexual misconduct against him. These allegations had immediate and profound repercussions for his career. As the severity of the accusations came to light, Netflix took swift action by firing Spacey from the hit series House of Cards, where he had been playing the lead role of Frank Underwood, a manipulative and ruthless politician. This role had revived his career and brought him significant acclaim in the years leading up to the scandal. Furthermore, the fallout from these allegations extended beyond his television role. 
Spacey was also removed from the completed film All the Money in the World, with his scenes reshot featuring Christopher Plummer, who replaced him in the role. This decision was not only costly, but also highly publicized, emphasizing the industry's zero-tolerance stance on sexual misconduct. Now 64 years old, Kevin Spacey's professional life has not recovered from these events. The controversy surrounding his personal conduct has marked a significant downturn in his career trajectory and has also contributed to broader conversations within the entertainment industry about accountability and the importance of addressing and rectifying misconduct. Spacey's case highlights the ongoing shifts in industry standards, reflecting a growing commitment to uphold ethical conduct and ensure safe working environments. Matt Lauer Matt Lauer, born on December 30, 1957 in New York City, established himself as a leading figure in American television journalism over a career that spanned more than two decades. As a co-host of NBC's Today Show, Lauer was at the forefront of morning television, known for his adept interviewing skills and for covering significant global events. His familiar presence and journalistic prowess made him a trusted figure in many American households. Despite his professional successes, Lauer's career came to an abrupt and ignoble end in 2017. He was fired from NBC after the network received a detailed complaint from a colleague alleging inappropriate sexual behavior in the workplace. This initial allegation triggered an internal investigation that revealed a troubling pattern of misconduct by Lauer over many years. According to reports, Lauer's behavior was not only inappropriate, but also manipulative and coercive, utilizing his position of power within the network to his advantage. The revelation of these behaviors and his subsequent dismissal caused a media and public uproar, sending shockwaves throughout the industry. Lauer's termination from the Today show not only marked the end of his career at NBC, but also had wider implications for the media landscape. It occurred amid the burgeoning Me Too movement, which saw numerous women coming forward with allegations of sexual misconduct against powerful men in various sectors, including entertainment, politics, and business. Now 66 years old, Matt Lauer remains a figure emblematic of the issues of workplace harassment exposed by the Me Too movement. His case highlighted the need for stringent policies against harassment and affirmed the importance of a safe and respectful work environment. It also underscored the role of power dynamics in such abuses and the necessity for accountability, regardless of one's status or position. Lauer's fall from grace serves as a stark reminder of the potential consequences of ethical lapses and the ongoing need to address such behavior decisively and effectively in every professional setting. Charlie Sheen Charlie Sheen, born Carlos Erwin Estevez on September 3, 1965 in New York City, gained widespread fame for his dynamic acting in major films and television shows. His early roles in critically acclaimed movies such as Platoon showcased his talent and helped establish him as a notable Hollywood actor. Sheen's career trajectory continued to rise as he became a lead actor in the popular television sitcom Two and a Half Men, which further cemented his reputation as a talented and engaging performer. Despite this professional success, Sheen's career took a dramatic and public downturn in 2011. During this period, his behavior became increasingly erratic, marked by a series of bizarre public appearances and interviews. His public meltdown included making disparaging remarks towards Chuck Lorre, the creator of Two and a Half Men. Sheen's outbursts and controversial statements, which included claims of having tiger blood and being a warlock, were heavily covered by the media. This public display of personal turmoil ultimately led to his firing from Two and a Half Men, a show that had been a significant part of his career and financial success. Sheen's behavior during this time was characterized by a mix of defiance and grandiosity. 
He coined the term winning to describe his own assessment of his situation, despite the apparent self-destructive path he was on. This term, and his behavior in general, became emblematic of his struggles during this period. Now, in 2024, Charlie Sheen is 58 years old. The events of 2011 are reflective of the broader challenges that celebrities often face in managing their personal lives while under the constant scrutiny of the public and media. Sheen's fall from grace serves as a poignant reminder of the delicate balance between personal and public life and the rapid pace at which public opinion can turn based on personal conduct. It also underscores the pressures of Hollywood life and how personal struggles, if not managed properly, can dramatically impact professional success and public image. Charlie Sheen's story is not just a tale of a public meltdown, but also a broader commentary on the impact of celebrity culture, mental health issues, and the consequences of fame. It provides a cautionary tale about the importance of seeking help when needed and the challenges of living life in the public eye. Kathy Griffin Kathy Griffin, born on November 4, 1960, in Forest Park, Illinois, is an American comedian and actress renowned for her sharp wit and irreverent humor. Griffin gained widespread recognition through her stand-up comedy and her reality TV show, Kathy Griffin, My Life on the D-List, which highlighted her self-deprecating humor and her efforts to climb Hollywood's celebrity ladder. Her unique approach to comedy earned her two Emmy Awards for the show, affirming her status as a respected figure in the entertainment industry. However, in 2017, Griffin's career encountered a significant obstacle following a highly controversial incident. She posted a graphic photo of herself holding what appeared to be the decapitated head of then-President Donald Trump. The image, intended as political satire, was perceived by many as distasteful and extreme. It instantly sparked a nationwide outrage, leading to widespread condemnation across the political and social spectrum. The fallout from the photo was immediate and severe. Griffin faced backlash not only from the public, but also from professional partners. As a direct consequence, CNN terminated her annual New Year's Eve hosting gig, a role she had enjoyed alongside Anderson Cooper for many years, which was a staple of her career contributions. Additionally, Griffin found herself ostracized from numerous other professional opportunities, reflecting the extent to which the controversy had tarnished her public image. Now, in 2024, at 63 years old, Kathy Griffin's career has been indelibly marked by the incident. The backlash she faced underscores the significant challenges celebrities encounter when expressing political viewpoints in a highly polarized society. Her experience serves as a cautionary tale about the potential repercussions of mixing celebrity with political expression, particularly through provocative imagery. It highlights the delicate balance public figures must maintain while navigating their personal convictions and public persona in an increasingly divided public sphere. Shane Gillis Shane Gillis, born on June 1, 1987, in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, is an American stand-up comedian and writer who briefly captured national attention in 2019. Before his moment in the spotlight, Gillis was known for his work in stand-up comedy and as a co-host on a comedy podcast, slowly building a reputation in the comedy circuit with his distinctive style. Gillis's career trajectory took a significant turn when he was announced as a new cast member for Saturday Night Live as SNL in September 2019. This opportunity was poised to be a major breakthrough for him, potentially catapulting him to new heights in the entertainment industry. However, his ascension was abruptly halted when, shortly after the SNL announcement, videos from his podcast surfaced that contained offensive and derogatory remarks, including racial slurs and insensitive comments. The content of these videos quickly sparked a widespread backlash, the nature of the remarks led to heated debates about the boundaries of comedy and freedom of speech. While some people defended Gillis's right to free speech, 
Others argued that the content of his comments crossed the line into outright offensive territory, making them unacceptable, especially for a platform as prominent as SNL. Within days of the controversy, SNL decided to sever ties with Gillis, stating that they were not aware of his prior remarks at the time of his hiring and that his language was not in line with the show's values. Presently, at 36 years old, Shane Gillis continues to be a figure of discussion regarding the incident. The swift termination of his role on SNL before even making an appearance highlighted the increasing scrutiny and accountability that entertainers face regarding their past and present behavior. The incident has also sparked broader conversations within the comedy community about the limits of humor, especially regarding topics of race and ethnicity. It serves as a stark reminder of how past remarks can resurface and impact a career, illustrating the delicate balance comedians must navigate in an era where their audiences are increasingly diverse and attuned to issues of social justice and respect. Gilbert Gottfried Gilbert Gottfried, born on February 28, 1955, in Brooklyn, New York, was an acclaimed American stand-up comedian, actor, and voice actor known for his distinctively loud and shrill voice, which became his trademark in the entertainment industry. Gottfried's career spanned several decades, starting in the 1980s, during which he became a prominent figure on the comedy scene. He was not only a regular on the stand-up circuit, but also took on memorable roles in films such as Beverly Hills Cop Thou So and voiced the parrot Iago in Disney's Aladdin, showcasing his versatile talent. However, Gottfried's career faced significant setbacks in 2011 when he posted a series of jokes on social media about the devastating earthquake and tsunami in Japan. These remarks were widely criticized for their insensitivity given the massive loss of life and destruction caused by the natural disasters. As a consequence of these ill-timed jokes, Aflac, where Gottfried had been the voice behind the company's iconic duck in numerous commercials, terminated his contract. Aflac, having a large client base in Japan, found his comments not only inappropriate but also damaging to their corporate image. Tragically, Gilbert Gottfried passed away on April 12, 2022, at the age of 67. His death was attributed to recurrent ventricular tachycardia, a condition linked to myotonic dystrophy type 2, a genetic disorder that affects muscle function. Despite the controversies, Gottfried left behind a legacy of bold and often irreverent humor that pushed the boundaries of comedy. His career serves as a reminder of the delicate balance comedians must maintain when addressing sensitive topics, and his voice work continues to be celebrated for its unique contribution to the world of entertainment. Lindsay Lohan Lindsay Lohan born on July 2, 1986 in New York City, is an American actress, singer, and entrepreneur who first rose to fame as a child actress in Disney films such as The Parent Trap and Freaky Friday. These early roles showcased her talent and charisma, quickly making her a beloved figure in Hollywood. Lohan's transition into teen idol status was cemented with her starring role in the cult classic Mean Girls, which combined critical acclaim with commercial success and marked the peak of her early career. Despite her professional achievements, Lohan's life in the spotlight was marred by personal struggles, including legal issues and substance abuse, which became frequent fodder for the media. These challenges began to take a significant toll on her career, leading to a noticeable decline in movie roles and opportunities in the entertainment industry. Her difficulties reached a notable point in 2013 when she was reportedly fired from the sitcom Anger Management due to alleged unprofessional behavior, including problems with punctuality and preparation. These incidents further damaged her reputation and professional standing. Now, at 37 years old, Lindsay Lohan has been making concerted efforts to revive her career and reshape her public image. 
In addition to attempting a comeback in the entertainment industry, she has ventured into the business world, including opening her own beach club in Mykonos, Greece. This move into entrepreneurship represents Lohan's efforts to diversify her career and take control of her narrative after years of public scrutiny. Lohan's journey from a child star to a troubled young adult, and now to an entrepreneur attempting a comeback, highlights the complex interplay between celebrity and personal vulnerability. Her ongoing efforts to reinvent herself demonstrate her resilience and determination to overcome the challenges of her past and forge a successful path forward in both business and entertainment. Isaiah Washington Isaiah Washington, known for his early roles in films like Crooklyn and Clockers, achieved widespread recognition for his portrayal of a talented cardiothoracic surgeon on the popular medical drama Grey's Anatomy. Washington's compelling performance on the show helped solidify his status as a respected actor in the industry. However, his career trajectory took a tumultuous turn in 2007 following a highly publicized incident on the set. During an on-set altercation, Washington used a homophobic slur directed at his co-star, T.R. Knight. This incident not only led to immediate public backlash, but also sparked a broader conversation about tolerance and behavior in Hollywood. The controversy became a significant focus of media attention, overshadowing Washington's previous contributions to the show. As a result of the incident and the ensuing controversy, Washington was fired from Grey's Anatomy, his departure from the series marked a challenging period in his career as he faced professional setbacks and struggled to secure prominent roles like those he had previously enjoyed. The backlash had a lasting impact, affecting his reputation and opportunities in the competitive entertainment industry. Now, at the age of 60, Isaiah Washington has continued to work in the entertainment industry despite these setbacks. He has made appearances in various television shows and film projects, demonstrating resilience and a commitment to his craft. Washington's journey underscores the complexities of navigating a public controversy and the potential for redemption and reinvention in a career marked by both significant achievements and notable challenges. His ongoing efforts to remain active in the industry reflect his dedication to acting and his ability to persevere through adversity. Megan Fox Megan Fox, born on May 16, 1986, in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, is an American actress and model who quickly rose to international fame with her breakout role in the 2007 action film Transformers and its subsequent sequel. Renowned for her striking beauty and acting prowess, Fox became a prominent figure in Hollywood during the late 2000s. Her early career was marked by high-profile roles in blockbuster films, including Transformers and the cult favorite Jennifer's Body. However, Fox's career trajectory experienced significant turbulence due to publicized disagreements with key industry figures, particularly during her time working on the Transformers series. In 2009, Fox was notably absent from the third installment of the franchise, reportedly due to conflicts with the director Michael Bay. The situation escalated following remarks she made comparing Bay to Hitler, comments which were widely criticized and contributed to her being replaced in the franchise. This controversy significantly impacted her career, casting a shadow over her professional reputation and leading to a period of reduced visibility in major Hollywood productions. Despite these challenges, as of 2024, at the age of 37, Megan Fox has managed to maintain a steady presence in the film industry. She has continued to act in various projects, demonstrating a versatility that has allowed her to gradually re-establish herself within the entertainment sector. Fox's journey is indicative of the complexities facet by actors in the spotlight, navigating both personal expression and professional relationships. Her ability to continue working in an array of film projects showcases her resilience and ongoing appeal as an actress.
highlighting her capacity to adapt and thrive in the ever-evolving dynamics of Hollywood. Jussie Smollett Jussie Smollett, born on June 21, 1982, in Santa Rosa, California, is an American actor, singer, and songwriter who initially gained fame for his role as Jamal Lyon in the popular television series Empire. Smollett's early success on Empire was marked by his compelling portrayal of a young, talented artist struggling for acceptance in both his personal and professional life, a role that allowed him to showcase his acting and musical talents. However, Smollett's promising career faced a dramatic and controversial turning point in 2019. He reported being the victim of a hate crime in Chicago, claiming that he was attacked by two individuals who used racial and homophobic slurs. This incident initially drew public sympathy and widespread media attention. However, the situation quickly escalated as subsequent police investigations raised serious doubts about the veracity of Smollett's claims. Authorities began to suspect that the incident was staged, leading to accusations that Smollett had filed a false police report. The controversy had immediate and severe consequences for Smollett's career. As doubts about his story grew, the producers of Empire decided to write his character out of the finale episodes of the series, distancing the show from the scandal. Moreover, Smollett faced legal consequences, including charges related to filing a false report, which further tarnished his public image and professional reputation. Now, at 41 years old, Jussie Smollett continues to grapple with the fallout from the 2019 incident. The controversy surrounding the alleged hoax has had lasting repercussions on his professional standing, sparking widespread debate on issues of accountability and justice within the media and the general public. This incident serves as a stark reminder of how quickly public perception can change and the significant impact personal actions can have on a career in the public eye. Paula Dean. Paula Dean born on January 19, 1947 in Albany, Georgia, is an American celebrity chef, cooking show host, and cookbook author, known for her Southern cooking style. She gained fame and a loyal following through her Food Network shows, cookbooks, and restaurant ventures. Dean's initial success was largely attributed to her warm personality and her comforting, indulgent recipes, which resonated deeply with audiences looking for a taste of Southern hospitality. However, in 2013, Dean's career faced a major setback when it was revealed that she had used racial slurs in the past. The revelation came during a legal deposition where Dean admitted to using offensive language. This disclosure sparked widespread public outrage and led to a swift fallout in her professional life. The Food Network canceled her cooking show and she lost numerous endorsement deals. Additionally, her reputation suffered significantly, leading to a sharp decline in her business ventures and a public reevaluation of her persona. Now, in 2024, at 77 years old, Paula Dean has made efforts to rebuild her career and public image. Despite the severe backlash and the challenges it posed, Dean has returned to the public eye with new ventures and projects. She has attempted to address the past controversies by engaging more directly with her audience and focusing on new business opportunities that reflect a revised approach to her public persona. Dean's story highlights the complex relationship between celebrity culture and personal accountability. It underscores the potential repercussions of past actions on a public figure's career and illustrates the ongoing process of reputation management in the face of controversy. Despite her attempts at a comeback, Dean's legacy remains a topic of debate, reflecting broader societal discussions about race, forgiveness, and the capacity for personal and professional redemption. Ryan Lochte Ryan Locht, born on August 3, 1984, in Rochester, New York, is an American competitive swimmer and Olympic gold medalist renowned for his exceptional skills in the pool. Throughout his career, Locht has been a dominant force in swimming, 
winning multiple medals at various Olympic Games, including both individual and relay events. His successes earned him widespread recognition and established him as one of the sport's most successful and celebrated athletes. However, Lochte's illustrious career was marred by controversy during the 2016 Rio de Janeiro Olympics. In a highly publicized incident, Lochte claimed that he and three other U.S. swimmers were robbed at gunpoint during a night out. This story quickly unraveled as Brazilian authorities challenged the athletes' accounts, leading to investigations that exposed the story as fabricated. Lochte later admitted that he had exaggerated the details of the incident, which resulted in significant public backlash. The fallout from the controversy was severe. Locht faced a suspension from competitive swimming, which put a temporary halt to his career. Additionally, he lost several major endorsement deals, further impacting his professional life and public image. The incident not only led to financial losses, but also damaged his reputation as a respected athlete. Now, at 39 years old, Ryan Locht has made concerted efforts to rebuild his public image and regain his standing in the competitive swimming community. After serving his suspension, Lochte returned to competitive swimming, demonstrating a commitment to continuing his career despite past setbacks. His return to the sport and efforts to restore his reputation highlight his resilience and determination to move beyond the controversy. Lochte's experience serves as a reminder of the importance of integrity and honesty, both in and out of the sports arena. It underscores the consequences that athletes can face when they fail to uphold these values, as well as the potential for redemption through accountability and continued dedication to one's craft. Nicolette Sheridan Nicolette Sheridan, born on November 21, 1963, in Worthing, Sussex, England, is a British-American actress renowned for her dynamic roles in television and film. Sheridan gained significant fame for her portrayal of Edie Britt on the popular TV series Desperate Housewives, a role that brought her widespread recognition and solidified her status in Hollywood. Before her iconic role on Desperate Housewives, Sheridan had already made a name for herself with appearances in Knott's Landing and the film The Sure Thing, showcasing her versatility as an actress. However, Sheridan's successful run on Desperate Housewives came to a contentious end in 2009 when her character was abruptly written off the show. The circumstances surrounding her departure led Sheridan to file a lawsuit against the show's creator, Mark Cherry. In the lawsuit, she alleged wrongful termination and physical assault, claiming that her dismissal was in retaliation for reporting an incident of onset violence. The legal battle that ensued unfolded over several years, drawing significant media attention and stirring public debate. Sheridan argued that her character's demise was not a creative decision, but rather a punitive action taken in response to her complaints about the alleged assault. The case went through various hearings and appeals, reflecting the complexities and challenges of addressing such allegations within the entertainment industry. As of now, Nicolette Sheridan is 60 years old. While the legal dispute has since concluded, the details remain contentious and the outcome was not definitively resolved in her favor. The incident and subsequent lawsuit became a notable chapter in her career, highlighting the issues of workplace safety and the repercussions of standing up against alleged misconduct in Hollywood. Sheridan's departure from Desperate Housewives and her legal battle against Mark Cherry have had lasting impacts on her career and public perception. Despite these challenges, Sheridan has continued to work in the industry, albeit with a more subdued presence compared to her peak years on Desperate Housewives. This episode in her career underscores the personal and professional risks involved in confronting alleged injustices in high-stakes environments like major television productions. Anthony Cumia 
Anthony Cumia, born on April 26, 1961, in Elwood, New York, is an American radio personality and comedian best known as one half of the popular radio duo Opie and Anthony. Their show was renowned for its irreverent humor and often controversial discussions, which captivated a significant following over the years. The duo's chemistry and bold approach to radio broadcasting made them standout figures in the industry, with a career that spanned several decades. However, Kumia's long-standing career faced a major setback in 2014 when he was fired from Sirius XM, the radio network that hosted the Opie and Anthony show. This termination was precipitated by a series of racially charged tweets Kumia posted from his personal Twitter account. These tweets, which were widely perceived as racist, sparked a significant public backlash and led to accusations of racism that tarnished his public image. The fallout from these tweets was swift and severe, resulting in Kumia's dismissal from the show, thereby ending his tenure with Sirius XM. This incident highlighted the broader societal intolerance for racial insensitivity, particularly from figures in the public eye, and underscored the consequences of controversial social media conduct. Today, at the age of 62, Anthony Cumia has continued his career in broadcasting despite the controversy. He launched his own online platform, Compound Media, where he hosts shows and podcasts. This venture represents Cumia's efforts to maintain his presence in the broadcasting world and continue engaging with his audience on his terms. Compound Media allows Kumia to explore topics and discussions in the unfiltered style that initially brought him fame, albeit with the lessons learned from past controversies. Kumia's story is a reminder of the evolving standards in media and entertainment, particularly regarding the content and behavior that audiences and companies will tolerate. His ability to adapt and launch an independent platform after his dismissal illustrates his resilience and determination to remain active in the industry he has been part of for so long. Thomas Gibson Thomas Gibson, born on July 3, 1962 in Charleston, South Carolina, is an American actor and director known for his versatile roles in both comedy and drama. He first gained prominence through his role as Greg Montgomery on the comedy series Dharma and Greg, and later as Aaron Hotchner, a stern unit chief in the long-running crime drama Criminal Minds. Gibson's ability to navigate these diverse genres earned him widespread recognition and a dedicated fan base, marking him as a significant figure in television. However, Gibson's successful tenure on Criminal Minds came to an abrupt end in 2016, following an on-set altercation with a producer. The incident, which involved physical aggression, led to his firing from the series, where he had been a central figure for more than a decade. This departure was not only sudden, but also highly publicized, casting a shadow over his professional reputation. As of now, Thomas Gibson is 61 years old. Despite the setback of his departure from Criminal Minds, Gibson has continued to work in the industry, showcasing his talent in various projects. His post-Criminal Minds career includes roles in television films and guest appearances on other shows, reflecting his ongoing commitment to his craft and his ability to persevere through professional challenges. Gibson's story highlights the impact personal conduct can have on a career, particularly in a collaborative and high-stakes environment like a television set. His experience serves as a reminder of how crucial maintaining professional behavior is to career longevity, especially for those in the public eye. Despite the challenges he faced, Gibson's continued work in the industry demonstrates resilience and a sustained passion for acting offering him a pathway to rehabilitate his career and continue contributing to the entertainment world. Jeffrey Tambor Jeffrey Tambor, born on July 8, 1944, in San Francisco, California, is an American actor celebrated for his versatility across both comedy and drama. Tambor's acting career, spanning several decades, 
has been marked by critical acclaim and multiple awards, most notably for his transformative role as Maura Pfefferman in the groundbreaking series Transparent. This role earned him several Emmys and solidified his reputation as a talented and respected figure in the entertainment industry. In addition to Transparent, Tambor is well known for his roles in The Larry Sanders Show and Arrested Development, both of which showcased his distinctive comedic timing and dramatic depth. However, Tambor's illustrious career faced significant turmoil in 2017 when allegations of inappropriate behavior surfaced from the set of Transparent. Co-star Trace Lee Set and assistant Van Barnes accused him of misconduct, leading to a public controversy and an internal investigation by the show's producers. Despite Tambor's denials of any wrongdoing, the fallout from the allegations was swift and consequential. The investigation culminated in Tambor's dismissal from Transparent, a decision that underscored the entertainment industry's increasing commitment to addressing and scrutinizing allegations of harassment, especially in the wake of the Me Too movement. This shift marked a critical turning point in how such accusations are handled, impacting even well-established actors like Tambor. Currently at the age of 79, Jeffrey Tambor's professional life has undoubtedly been impacted by these events. The incident not only led to his departure from a key role, but also sparked broader discussions about behavior standards within the industry. This scenario highlights the delicate balance of legacy and accountability, demonstrating that reputational impact can extend far beyond the immediate consequences of any accusations. Despite these challenges, Tambor has continued to work in the industry, albeit with a changed landscape around him. His situation reflects the complexities faced by those in the public eye and serves as a reminder of the ongoing evolution in industry norms concerning personal conduct and professional responsibility. Brendan Fraser Brendan Fraser, born on December 3, 1968 in Indianapolis, Indiana, is a Canadian-American actor who became widely known for his charismatic and dynamic performances in the 1990s and early 2000s. Fraser became a household name through iconic roles in films like The Mummy, George of the Jungle, and Encino Man, where he showcased a unique ability to blend comedy and action, captivating audiences worldwide. His performances during this period not only earned him critical acclaim, but also established him as a leading figure in Hollywood. However, following these successful years, Fraser's career began to wane due to a series of personal and health challenges. He faced multiple physical injuries related to his stunt work, which necessitated surgeries and led to a significant physical toll. Additionally, Fraser dealt with personal issues that further removed him from the spotlight, contributing to a decline in his career. Despite these setbacks, as of now, Brendan Fraser is 55 years old and has witnessed a significant career resurgence. He has taken on notable roles in television series like Doom Patrol, where he received praise for his performance. Moreover, Fraser's recent projects in the film industry signal a promising comeback. His renewed presence in mainstream media and the entertainment industry reflects not only his enduring talent, but also his resilience and determination to reclaim his place as a celebrated actor. This resurgence is a testament to Fraser's ability to navigate the challenges he faced and adapt to new roles and opportunities in an evolving industry. His story is one of overcoming adversity, and his current success highlights the possibility of revitalization and redemption in a career that many thought had passed its peak. Fraser's return to the limelight is welcomed by fans and critics alike, marking an exciting new chapter in his enduring career. Stacy Dash Stacy Dash, born on January 20th, 1967, in the Bronx, New York, is an American actress, producer, and political commentator who first rose to prominence in the 1990s. 
Dash is best known for her role in the hit film Clueless, where her portrayal of Dion Davenport garnered significant attention and acclaim, along with other roles in films like Mo Money. Over the years, she continued to work in television and film, which helped maintain her visibility in the entertainment industry. In 2013, Dash made a notable shift in her career path by entering the realm of political commentary. Embracing conservative ideologies, she often expressed views that sparked controversy, which became a hallmark of her commentary. In 2014, she joined Fox News as a contributor, where she provided insight on cultural and political issues from a conservative perspective. Her time at Fox News amplified her profile as a commentator, albeit polarizing among audiences. However, Dash's tenure at Fox News came to an end in 2017 when the network decided not to renew her contract. This decision followed a series of backlashes over her statements on various sensitive and divisive topics. Her departure from Fox News underscored the challenges public figures often face when expressing controversial opinions, especially in the highly polarized environment of political commentary. Now in 2024, Stacey Dash is 57 years old and continues to navigate her career post-Fox News. Her experience highlights the volatile nature of merging entertainment with political commentary and the potential repercussions of taking firm stances on contentious issues. Dash's journey from actress to commentator exemplifies the complexities encountered by celebrities who venture into the political arena, reflecting the broader dynamics of public discourse in a divided political landscape. Julie Chen Julie Chen, born on January 6, 1970, in Queens, New York, is an accomplished American television personality, producer, and news anchor renowned for her roles in hosting the popular reality show Big Brother and co-hosting the CBS daytime talk show The Talk. Chen has had a successful career in journalism and television, notably serving as the steadfast host of Big Brother since its inception, where her professional demeanor and engaging style won her many admirers. However, Chen's career faced a significant challenge in 2018 amid sexual misconduct allegations against her husband, Les Moonves, who was then the CEO of CBS. The controversy surrounding Moonves was highly publicized, putting Chen in a difficult position given her prominent roles on CBS programs. In a show of support for her husband, Chen notably signed off on Big Brother using the name Julie Chen Moonves, a move that was seen as a public declaration of her solidarity with him. This period was tumultuous for Chen, as the allegations against Moonves intensified and eventually led to his departure from CBS. The situation inevitably impacted Chen's own career, particularly her role on The Talk. Amidst the growing controversy and heightened media scrutiny, Chen decided to step down from The Talk later in 2018, marking a significant shift in her professional life. This decision highlighted the complex interplay between her personal affiliations and her professional responsibilities, a dynamic that is often magnified for public figures. Presently, Julie Chen is 54 years old and continues to host Big Brother, demonstrating her resilience and enduring appeal as a television host. The controversy surrounding her husband and her subsequent departure from the talk underscore the challenges faced by public figures in navigating their personal relationships while in the public eye. Chen's experience serves as a poignant example of the personal and professional dilemmas that can arise when those close to them are embroiled in controversy. Her ongoing role on Big Brother suggests a commitment to maintaining her professional standing despite personal trials, contributing to the complex tapestry of her career in the entertainment industry. Thank you for watching the entire video on the Famous People channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more in-depth content. We appreciate your engagement and look forward to sharing more intriguing stories with you in our upcoming videos. Goodbye.